All right, I've got a fresh new profile, uh, and I'm going to show you how to set up your motors in uh, Mach 4 with a Rauta Kit HD. I've got the smaller uh, stepper motors. I don't think that really matters, but you never know. So just just in case you're wondering. All right, first thing we got to do is go to Control, and I already did this, I think. Uh, but we're going to go to axis mapping. We're going to turn these three on, so that defines which one, um, which axes you're going to have. Um, these were already enabled, so I'm going to—I uh, done it earlier, but I'm going to turn them off, and I'll show you when you enable this thing. Come over to jogging. Oops, did I did I undo that? Oops. Yeah, let me. Uncheck them, click OK, and enable it. Now these are grayed out. So this is saying I don't have X, Y, and Z axes. So we want to make sure those are enabled. They won't be on a fresh, um, a true fresh uh, profile. So come over here. We're in the control configuration. We'll enable those. I have motor 2 as X, 1 as Y, with 3 slaving to number 1. So it's going to mirror whatever number 1 does and then Z as motor zero. Okay, so now we enable it. Now we have access to the X, Y, and Z axes, but you can hear there's no movement from the machine. Uh, so basically it, it knows we have X, Y, Z, but it doesn't know what pins to send power to to make this thing move. So we're gonna come over here now to plugins. And we'll do the uh, smooth stepper. We're going to come here to the pins configuration. Uh, and the only way to know this is somebody has to give you the port and pin numbers and what they're supposed to be. I've actually copied them down off of another profile I have that works. Um, but a quick rundown on it is going to be that um, port 1 is going to be the, I think it's the X axis. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm doing this in the wrong spot again, I think. Maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, sorry about that. Port 1, pin 1 is the aux relay, according to this. Uh, let's see. Port 1, pin 2 is the X step, and it is an output. So we'll type in X step. And this is just what you call it so that you can kind of keep track of everything. There's some somewhat of a standardization to it so that if you ever call somebody for help and you have them all labeled the same thing, it's a little bit more helpful. This one they have is X direction. So one of these is going to get, so active high or low means the computer, when it sees a voltage on that pin, it's going to make the thing step. So the motor is going to give you a little a turn in one unit of motion, of motion. And then the next one will tell it which direction. So we've only turned one on. Let's see if the machine will work in the X direction. So we'll OK it, we'll enable, and then X. Nothing yet. OK, so we're missing something. All right, we'll come up here back to configure, plugins. So we've got the pins configured. Now we've got to come over to output signals and see if what we've got. OK, so we've got to enable um, these. But uh, we got to remember which ones we labeled as zero and one and all that. Uh, and I got a picture of it in front of me here, so that's what I'm looking at. Now I got to go through all my pictures to find it. All right, so we've got to turn all these on. 
And we're just going to do X direction. Let's see if we can get X direction to go before we do this. So let's cancel this. Let's go see which one I had configured as the X direction. Yep, X is motor 0. Or motor 2, I'm sorry. Motor 2, but they call it. So I know that's confusing. It's the 0 direction in the computer, but it's motor 2. Uh, this more... How am I trying to say this? This is more of a position on the output of the machine. This is more what direction the computer sees. So this is the in the Ethernet smooth stepper. This is in the output of mock. All right, cancel that out. Come back to here to plugins and output signals. So motor zero, step and direction, then one mapping. Okay, and remember we've labeled that one as. I gotta go back to my pictures. That one's port one, pin two. Port one, pin two. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Disregard. I have X step here. I changed the name of it. That's right. Uh, so now we have X step and X direction. Let's see if it works. Enable it. Still nothing. So we're missing something. Oh, there we go. All right, we got it working on the on the Z. So somehow we we got our numbers mixed up there. We'll disable it. We'll figure out which one that is. So yeah, Z is motor zero. So we change this to motor zero. Let's see if that changes things up for us. Okay. Enable. Now Z axis is now moving. All right. Let me get a. So, there we go. Oh, and Z-axis is really moving. Look at that thing go. Oops. Man, that really gets it now. Okay, so we've now enabled the Z-axis. I'm sorry, the X-axis. So let's disable that. Come over here to configure. Plugins. Let's see. What are the pins we can do? Okay, so we've enabled all of those now. And we'll come over here, pins config. And again, the only way you're going to know what pins do what is to know your control box. Um, I don't have a whole lot of support on that, but what I do have is a, a uh, profile that works, so I'm using that to configure these pins. So the next one is the port 1 pin 4, and I'm showing that one as the Y direction, Y, D, I, R. Port 1 pin 5 will be Y step. And then the next one, port 1, pin 6, will be Z direction and Z step. Derp, step. There we go. And then I'm showing port 1, pin 8 is A step which I'm not real sure about this right now because I have uh, the A control section or the, con the control plug or port or whatever you want to call it uh, just mirroring the Y direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in here but we're going to not enable it and see if this thing still functions correctly. 
All right, notice they're all active high right now. We're not going to worry about that for, for just this. Uh, unique animals. Which one? Oh. Oh, whoops. A direction. Step direction. Oops, I got that backwards. Look at that. Made a mistake there. Fly step. I have got me all out of order. Direction. Step. The step, and if you have them already labeled and you're trying to change them, you actually have to change the one below it because it'll say you didn't do a unique alias. Okay, okay, that bring it back up. Plugins, actually, let's go to control axis mapping. We don't have A checked here, so I'm hoping. Having A in there is not going to matter to us. I'm hoping it's just going to mask what uh, Motor 1 does. I'm not sure, so we're going to try it. Let me check one more thing. Got to enable Motor 1 step, Motor 2 step, Motor 3 step, and direction. So that's four motors starting at zero. So that's all I have. So that's all I should need. Okay, that. Let's enable. Now here's the issue with the y-axis. It's running two motors, so if they're opposing each other, it may have some problems. So we know X should work. Okay, so X should work. And it does. It really moves, man. I gotta change my original settings up. Apparently I can crank this thing up. Alright, Z not working. Okay, so Z is not working. Y is not working. All right, so we got some work to do. Okay, what did we forget to do? I forgot to enable all these motors. So we enable motors one step direction. So motor one step, you know, one and three are Y. So we're going to do Y step. Y direction. And then I think what we're going to do this is the good question here. So we're going to do Y step, Y direction, and then we'll do uh, Z step, Z direction. We'll no enable that. Now, what do we do in motor 3? That is a good question. All right, let me take a look here. All right, let me check my other one. Oh, -ho. Look at that. Okay, so we enabled them. And now we got some Z. Alright, and the big test is going to be Y because those motors very well. Oh, yeah. Totally working against each other. Or actually, I don't think it's working. I don't think it's working the left side at all. Alright, so we got to figure out a way to. Uh, that side right there is the A side, so we've got to find a way to enable the A side. <laughs> All right. Disable. Configure. Plugins. Motors. No. Okay, so we got to find a way to, to link port 1 to pin 8. Uh, port 1, pin 8 up to port 1, pin 4. 
Oh, okay, here we go. Mapped pin 2 and mapped pin 3 will still receive the same output signal as mapped pin 1, but will not be referenced in mock. Okay. So this, I think, is how we do it. So pin 2 mapping, we're going to come here to 1, and we're going to make this a step a direction, I think. Let's try that. We'll enable it. And we're going to try Y now. Oh, totally did the trick. Sweet, but they're going the wrong direction. So now we've got to find a way to change the direction. Configure, plugins. All right, we're going to come here to pins config. An A step. We want it to, that's correct, so it's activating when it gets power. We want A direction to go the other way. So now, active low. So when we power up A step and there is no signal on the other pin, it's going to go the other direction. So, enable it. And let's try some Y. Oh, look at that. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. Um, Y is in the wrong direction completely. So now, Y should be, Y minus should come towards the camera. So I've got to now disable this, go back to configure, plugins, warp 9, um, pins config, and we're going to change this back to active high, and Y direction we're going to go active low. Okay, enable. All right, so now we're doing Y minus, and it's coming towards us. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got our motors uh, at least set up. We know how to change direction on them. So now our motors are activated in Mach 4 for our router kit HD. I hope that helps somebody out there because there's not a lot of help out there other than uh, what people out there are figuring out on their own. So thanks for watching.